What's up, everybody? It's Buffalo Ben 15 Golf back at it again, and today we're playing Glen Oaks Golf Course in Farmington Hills, Michigan. So, they sent me off the back nine to start out today, so the holes that you're witnessing are actually holes one through nine, but for me, they were holes 10 through 18, which is why I put the one slash 10 in the bottom of the screen, um, just for clarification. So now that I've got that cleared up, we can get into it. I yank my drive off to the left side. As you can see, I'm very frustrated. Um, still got a long ways to go. Um, just uh, never going to get more than 200, 210 out of a duck hook with a driver. Um, so we're out of jail at least. We got over the tree with the 5 iron, but we chunked it a little bit. So we're going to have about 60 yard pitch shot in. Pitching to a very small green. A lot of the greens at Glen Oaks are very small. Um, have to be very accurate with your irons and wedges. Um, and I was on the holes 10 through 18. I was very good with my irons and wedges, but I could not putt to save my life. I shot a 42, but that's primarily because I had 20 putts. I think I three putted like four holes, so each putt that was beyond ten feet, um, I I thought like after six holes, each putt that I had that was beyond ten feet, I was like, well, I'm gonna miss this one, and here we are with a putt save bogey uh, that's about fifteen feet long. So fingers crossed. Boom. Just like that. Putt train engaged. Uh, that's how you putt. Easily one of the most Finally I made one. putts I've ever hit. So yeah. Uh, that's why I've, my score is not that good, even though I've been hitting my irons and wedges well today. And um, I really have been working on my irons and wedges game lately. I'm a 10 handicap. I should be able to hit long irons like my four iron which is what I'm hitting here I chunk it a little bit I didn't want to hit anything higher than like a four iron or a five wood just because um, the hole really gets very narrow after that cart path a few yards ahead of me so I still had quite a ways to go even though it's a 332 yard par great shot Four, I had about 165 in, but I hit it really well. I got over the water. Um, I think I used a 7-iron. I should have probably used a 6 just because the pin was in the back. But we're still on the green. And I'm feeling a lot more confident with my putter after the first hole. So that one's good. Tap in par. Let's go. All right. Par. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better already, as you guys can tell. So now we move to probably the most slender par four that I, I've ever played. Um, OB on the left um, and dense woods on the right. And I pulled a little bit, so I was afraid it was going to go out of bounds. But it stayed in bounds by, by about three or four yards. Opens up a little over there. As you can see, Yo. me showing just how slender it is from like the other angle here. 20 yards wide. That's actually OB. I'm lucky I didn't go in there. Dang. Thank goodness I found my ball. Barely avoided the woods. Yeah. How about that? So, I mean, we're alive, at least. So you got about 110 in. As you can see, I mean... As long as you hit a good drive, you're pretty much home free on this hole. Um, not very difficult Whoa, shot here. I just push it a little bit, end up a little bit short and right of the green. Another long putt, but it's about the same distance as the putt on number 2, or number 11, in my case. And that's another really good putt. There you go. We're in for par. Guys, I can't tell you how monumental that was. Last time I played that hole, 
was in a high school tournament, and I got a triple. We just parred. Let's go. All right, so now we move on to the par three fourth hole, 199 yards. Been working on my four iron. I hit a really good one here. Nice and flush, as you guys can tell from the sound of the impact. Just hit it about as good as I can hit it. Great extension. Yeah. If we can hit our long irons better and um, be able to make pars on more long par fours, I will become a single digit handicap golfer and shoot in the 70s at least half the time. Great distance. Almost made the birdie there. I thought it would curl back right at the end, but we got a par. All right, three pars in a row, doing well. All right. Yeah. It felt really good to start playing decent at this golf course because I've played this course a lot for high school tournaments and I've not done well with it in the past. That is a juicy drive right there. Ooh. That might have been the best drive of the season. Let's go. That thing came out like a cannon. I looked at my club head after I was done with that shot, and the ball print was like in the exact center of the club Wasted face. The like could not get any more perfect. And then I kind of chunk my five wood and waste it anyway, but still got a pretty comfortable distance in. I'm usually pretty good with What's shots uh, from 100 to 125 yards. Hill really Hit this one okay, just a little up. uphill, so I didn't get it back there, especially with the back pin. This putt was just a monster. Had to be at least 60, 65 feet, probably closer to 80 but as you can see, look at the putting stroke. It's getting a lot better. I kept my head down really good. And as you can see, I did pretty well with it. So about six feet the other way, closer than I thought I'd be. Oh, that was painful. That was nearly heartbreaking. Okay, shut up. Anyways, um, so now we're plus nine. It's a par 70, so now I have to par out to shoot 79. And we've got a very difficult par three again, long, 182. We got water on the right, oh, water yeah. if you chunk it, out of bounds to the it's left, great. and I hit a beautiful five iron up there. Yeah, that's what I had to deal with, and that's what I had to deal with. And after that yeah. lip out, that As was you not guys can easy see me walking up, to muster up a shot like that. Really tough par three. That's what makes Glen Oaks tough. It has really tough par threes. All right. Down the hill. Slippery putt. Oh, my goodness. I tap this. Like, it was like I was hitting a five-foot putt. That's probably about how light I hit this and it's still rolling look at it go but I mean without holding it that's about the best I could have done so we're in for par yeah really confident with that putt just went up and hit it um didn't really have to do much on that uphill or... all right so we stay alive for another hole three holes to go need to par out to shoot 79 um Hit a decent drive, just pulled it a little bit on this par 5. All right, got to get over the tree if we want to wedge in. All right, that's enough. Didn't hit it perfect, but hit it good enough, you know. It's par 5, what do you want? Yeah, I do not have good history with this course. Um, I'm tell you what these yeah, last four holes I was you know just nerves were high I mean even though that I've broken 80 before now that I've 
shot 77 at Farmington Hills, you know, just kind of the pressure to do it again was kind of um, building up as I neared the end of this round. 50 right. degree wedge. Be right. Ooh, oh, that's close. Hit that about as good as I could hit it without it going in. Man, that is a pin seeker, guys. We need to do this more often. Like, that is PGA Tour level shot right there. That's the kind of stuff we're going to need to do if we're going to make it to college golf and get into the single digits. Go in. Ooh, just curls in there. Oh, that's a juicy birdie, guys. Woo! All right. So we give ourselves a little bit of real estate coming in. We lose this to the right a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, that bunker out there, um, the fairway swoops to the right after that. And um, so I was aiming right at the bunker. I knew I could carry it from where I was, um, but I just leaked it a little bit right. But it's still pretty open over there, so we're still in good shape. I hit this rudge really good, too. All right. Yeah. This is really good, guys. <laughs> this is this is reminiscent of Pontiac, and that was one of the best wedge days I've ever had. Like, this is really good to watch. This is awesome that I'm doing this well with my wedges. Get there. Ooh, just a little short. All right. So we've been playing really well this nine holes. As you can see, the ball striking has been really good, just as it was on the my front nine. Um, but the putting, just whole nother level. I think I've had, like, 12 putts up to this point. I don't even know. All right. So bogey or better gets us a 79. All we have to do is keep this dry. Oh, it's a pin seeker. Go in. Gideon, this is Gideon, literally Gideon. inches away from the hole. That's so close. Oh my god. That's the closest I've ever been. What a shot. Oh my oh, gosh. Why couldn't it have been a hole in one? Dude. We just shot par on the front nine at Glen Oaks. How does that not drop? And there it is, a 77. Just absolutely rally on my back nine. As you, this is the front nine that you're seeing right now. But shot 35 for a 77, oh my goodness, guys, absolutely lights out. But, um, yeah, as you guys can see, the potting was just so bad. Um, hit some greens in regulation, uh, but I just still made bogey on all three of the holes where I got greens in regulation. Um, but, as you can see, the putting so much better. All twos and ones on the back nine. Um... My goodness. Two birdies to end in the last four holes. Absolutely rallied to salvage this round and make it a sub-80 round. Oh, my goodness, guys. Absolutely clutch golf. Oh, man. Wedges, the putters, the irons. Striking all the long irons well. Every putt, it seemed like, had a chance to go in. Um, just a tail of two nines, kind of. Um, my goodness, guys. I'm so glad you guys were able to see that nine holes of golf. Just, I'm getting better. I'm getting a lot better. Like, this is some of the best golf I've ever played. Ever since Farmington Hills, I've played some of the best rounds of my life. Some of the best shots of my life I've hit in the last six weeks. Um, my goodness, guys. Um, I hope I can keep this going. 
until the end of the season. I really do. Get Maybe I could get my handicap into single digits before the end of this season. That would be just an amazing accomplishment for me. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's all I got for you right now. I'm at a loss for words and how good that front, uh, at that back nine was. Um, in tournaments I've p- played here in the past, I sh- back in 2018, I shot a 92, and two weeks later I shot a 93, and both of those tournaments were from the white tees. Yeah. And uh, today I played the blacks, so, my goodness, just conquering Glen Oaks, conquering golf right now. This feels good. All right, that's all I got for you. See you next time, guys. Buffalo Ben 15 signing off. Have a good day, everyone.